Hi, this is Dragon Hill, and this is Hammer Time Hammer Tutorials for the Source SDK. Today we are going to be reviewing the clipping tool from the uh, Hammer Game Editor. Um, right here you see I already have a uh, block created, 256 by 256, and we're going to be using this as our test subject for clipping. Now, what I want everyone to do is to come over here to the sidebar and actually press just once the clipping tool. There's a reason for that, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Once we've pressed that, we can go to any of our views. I'm going to go to the side view. And by pressing the left mouse button on any grid point, and then dragging, don't release your mouse button until you reach another grid point, and now let go. What we've now done is defined our clipping plane on this axis, and you can see up here in the, uh, the camera view, you can see a white line has formed. Now what's going to happen as we look down this lower view is the area defined in red will be removed and the area in white will stay once we hit the enter key. I'm going to do that right now. As you can see, we have done a nice clean clip from uh, uh, one edge to another, nice diagonal cut. Now we can go back if we want to edit and undo using, or we can do uh, Control Z. And we've undone our, our clip. Now I want to show you the reason why we were only to press that clip button once. I'm going to go back to my selection tool, select the block again, now hit the clip tool once again, left mouse button, and then make that cut. Now I'm going to go back over to the clipping tool button. I'm going to click it a second time. Watch what happens. The red zone has now flipped. The area that will be removed will be the bottom section, and the area that will stay will be the top. This is pretty much, it's like a toggle, only it's a three-way toggle. There are three states that the clipping tool will have. The first two states will remove one half, preserve the other. The third state, you find this out by clicking the button a third time, is that both halves will be maintained. Nothing will be thrown away. So if I hit the uh, enter button right now, you will see that the it is now shown two red areas left over. I'll hit the selection tool. I can now select the top. And I can now move it away. Um, another thing that I want to show you before we're done is uh, I had mentioned to you that, uh, oh, I'll back up for a moment. When I hit the clipping tool again, and then I go to use the actual clipping tool, it remembers the last state it was in. So that is one thing you want to keep in mind that when you're uh, pressing this button many times, and then you leave the clip tool, and then when you come back, it will remember what state it's in. What I really want to show you was the uh, clipping points. I had said you needed to start at a grid point and end on a grid point. I did not say you had to start on a vertex point of the object. So watch. I can now move this into another spot. So that's something many people don't realize is that when they place the, the clipping plane, they don't have to delete it and redo if it's not where they want it. You can keep moving this around. And I can even go back to my uh, clipping tool, click it, and you'll see the red zone that will be removed. I can now start moving this clip plane around if I want. And you'll see how it keeps redefining what's going to be cut. And uh, even on the fly, I can change the grid size. I'm going to lower my grid size for more refinement. And now I can sit there and I can get a more precise clip or cut. I'm going to hit Enter. And there we go. And let's, let's see our handiwork. And you can see now that I've created the strange, strange wedge. Um, uh, one last thing now before we go is that uh, when we do a clip, um, through an object, and we maintain both, um, they're still grouped together, I believe. So I'm going to go to my selection and Actually, no, my mistake. In this particular case, the uh, it's a solid brush, and they are two separate halves. However, if you do this to Funk Detail brushes um, or other entities that are uh, non-standard brush, 
uh, the two halves will still be considered the same entity. Um, so just keep that in mind uh, when you start using non-brush entities. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for viewing this clipping tutorial, and uh, have a good day. Bye. Format C semicolon backslash. I wonder what this does.